Okay, so first I showed you um, how to install, well I talked about the frame first and I talked to you about hooking up the motors to the three wires on the ESCs and then I talked about the plus and minus lead on the ESCs connecting to either a power harness for the plus and negative ESC leads on each four ESCs or using a distribution board to connect all four ESCs to a power grid on the battery or and all negative leads again to the negative lead on the power grid that will connect to the battery and then I showed you that this is in an X copter configuration this is number one two three and four motors right now that said once you've got that connected you got the KK2 powered up you can choose in the uh, in the LCD configuration there, if you go in the uh, user interface on the LCD display, if you navigate to the menu, uh, you can load different flight configuration, whether it's X copter, uh, sorry, plus copter, or X copter, and also other different uh, flying configuration. And when you do that, it will actually show you your motor layout which one is number one, two, three, and four. And one thing that doesn't change is that these pins on the right side, they're always number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in order. So whatever motor layout the KK2 is showing you that you're supposed to have for the motor layout configuration you choose, this is how you're going to connect your ESCs. There's very, very user friendly. It's not that difficult to follow. So that's for that. Now the next thing we need to do is install the receiver. I'm going to be using a Dimension RX802 receiver for this that I'm going to use a Walkera radio with. Um, and I'm going to show you how to connect that. First, you want to see that there are five different connectors. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and each of these five connectors correspond to a channel. And I can tell you from memory here the first one is going to be Elron, the second one is going to be Elevator, the third one is Throttle, the fourth one is Rudder, and the fifth one is Gear, right, or Auxiliary one. And this is going to be to turn on or off the auto level function on the KK2 board. Um, okay, so now, how do you go about connecting this? Well, on any receiver you get, focus on that please, on any receiver you get, you're going to, each of your pins are going to be identified and if you read up about your receiver, you're going to find out which pin is the positive, which pin is the negative for your current, and which one is your signal pin. Right? On this receiver, the inside pin, these pins on the inside here, are my signal pins. And it's the same thing on the KK2 board, where my inside pins are my, sing my, are my signal pins. Now, remember, the battery powers the ESCs. The ESCs signal wires power the KK2 board. And through this connection here, the KK2 board will then power up the RX. So how do you do that? You're going to need one wire like this that's got three wires on it. Right, with a female and on each side. I'm going to, again. I'm going to use the white wire towards the inside because it's my my signal one. And then I see here that my first one is Elron on the KK2 board. So I'm going to go here, connect that like such. Number one. Here's my Elron. Then I'm going to white white wire on the inside and white wire on the inside for the first one right here there you go now my receiver is powered up after that all I need is the rest of them is only channels I don't need more current so I'm going to use single wires like so only one connector although some people and many of these kits that you buy will come with a bunch of these wires like this I don't use them they're too long but essentially you can connect three of them here and three of them there throughout but it's just some of them will be redundant they're not needed 
so you only need one. So now I go to the second one. My second pin here is uh, elevator, so I will connect that here, like so. My elevator. And I'm going to go and connect that to the inside pin. Second pin is elevator. Now, you may not remember this information just from me talking on the video. If you go in the uh, instruction manual for the KK2 board, it's going to show you a very clear picture of all these pins and of where each channel is. For example, number one, I'll say it again, number one is Elron, number two is elevator, throttle, uh, rudder, and then gear. But you're going to see that identified on the picture. So you just follow the, the picture from the KK2 uh, instruction manual with the identification that will be very clearly identified on your receiver, right? And then you just connect according to that. So the third one is throttle. I'm going to take the third wire here, connect that to my throttle on here, and connect that to the throttle, my KK2 board. There you go, my throttle is connected. Next, I'm going to connect my rudder. Connect that on the KK2 board. Sorry, on the receiver. Connect the KK2 board. And finally, this one you don't need it to. You don't need it if you're not going to use uh, auto level. And I don't use auto level, but I connect it anyways. And there's my fifth channel. There you go. Now my receiver is fully connected to the KK2 board and it is powered through the first one which got three wires. Right? Uh, my ESCs on this side are connected to the KK2 board. My low voltage alarm is connected to the KK2 board. Uh, my ESCs connected to the motors. And then uh, all of this is leading right up to this plug here which will power up all this through the battery now there's a couple different more things we need to do before we can just put propellers on there and go flying uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to check uh, of course we want to next we want to bind the radio with the RX on the board spin the motors and see which way the motors are spinning right and if the motors are spinning in the right direction we're good but you're, you're rarely going to be lucky to enough to have all four motors spinning in the right direction. So I'm going to show you how to change the directions on the motors, which is very easy. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to have to calibrate the ESCs to make sure that all the ESCs, um, how can I say, to make sure that the radio recognizes the, the endpoints on your throttle range, on your throttle stick. Um, that's on the KK2 board, basically to synchronize uh, the throttle high and low points on your radio with the KK2 board and with the ESCs all together so that when you give it throttle input each ESCs will power up at the exact same time and so that this is going to fly properly. So that's all we got left to do now is essentially check motor rotation, calibrate the ESCs and then from there what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about uh, the KK2 board, what you should do um, uh, with the KK2 board to you know uh, select your motor layout and a little bit about the settings you want to have in there for it to fly well for you and then we're going to put propellers on there and go for a test flight. So that's all, stay tuned for the next video.